Hello everyone. So in a previous video, I named this DAO 6045 prop, and the HQ one is basically the same. Uh, I named that prop the best 6-inch prop for a variety of reasons. You can check out the link, which is in the description. But basically it came down to this prop was uh, the same efficiency at a lower thrust level as other 6-inch props like this DAO 6040 but it makes more thrust on the top end because of the higher pitch. And I attributed that um, efficiency at the low end to the just better overall shape of the prop because it has this vortex management at the tip. See how it's very rounded? And this prop right here is very blunt at the tip. So what we're going to do today is we're going to try to make this Dow 6040 prop more efficient so that we can use it for slower flying or for me personally I don't really use the top 30 percent of this props range because I just don't fly that hard all the time so it'll just give me a wider throttle range to use when I'm flying alright so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be giving this Dow 6040 in the black a more rounded profile like this Dow 6045 so you can see if I overlay these props there is this bit sticking out. So we're going to try to match the shape of the Dow 6045 a little more. So basically what we're going to do is we're just going to cut a rounded line on the end of that prop. Now the way I do this, and I have done this before on other props, is I'm going to measure it just and just score a point a certain amount down on the leading edge of the prop. So I have picked about 10 millimeters. So I'm just going to measure from the tip of the prop in on a leading edge and I'm going to score it. And you probably can't see that, but I just have a little score mark. And I'll do that to the other side. And the reason you want to do this instead of just completely eyeballing it is to maintain consistency because you want to have consistent props on all four motors and just a balance prop as well because we are going to be removing material from this prop so you wouldn't want to have unbalanced props so now at this point um, if you wanted to you could do like a measured arc with a compass or something and a jig but uh, honestly I'm too lazy for that so we're just gonna eyeball this part but I do recommend at least measuring out where you're gonna start your arc from so we'll try scissors if that doesn't work we got some tin snips uh, I know for the pure polycarbonate props, uh, scissors definitely aren't enough because those are really tough, but this polycarbonate glass fiber blend might be weak enough that we can cut through it with scissors. Yeah, it is. So look at that. So now we have a nice arc on the end of our prop. And it was not that hard to do. And, yeah, so I smoothed that out a bit. Actually, I went a little further than 10 millimeters. And I think I like how that looks better. So, you know what? We're going to change this to, like, let's see how much that was. Let's go 12 millimeters. I'm going to score this one again at 12 millimeters. And we're going to cut this one. And if it helps, you can just do a, a series of linear cuts to just get a overall rounded shape. It doesn't really have to be perfect. Um, I mean, these props get dinged up and stuff anyway, so don't worry about it being uh, completely perfect. This will work well enough. So there we go. So now we have a much more rounded prop. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to check the balance of this because we did remove some material, so we're going to make sure that it is nice and balanced and if you want to know how to balance props I will put the link in the video description for that as well because that is a good skill to have alright so I'm gonna make three more of these props and then we're gonna see how they look on this quad Alright, so I got a whole set of props finished for this thing, and it looks pretty good, especially in all these black props. So, 
All we have to do now is test it and see if this thing works. So when I flew this prop, I didn't notice a huge change in efficiency. It definitely was quieter. So that is an indicator of efficiency, but that's not the whole story. So I'd say it's a tad more efficient than the normal 6040 prop, but it's not a drastic change at all. Really the biggest difference that I felt was the control feel of the modified 6040 was really amazing. Um, so I'm used to flying this 6045 at this point and going to this modified 6040 was like a huge difference in control feel it was a lot snappier and i have a couple of theories why so first of all it's a lower pitch prop and typically the lower pitch props just uh, have better control because they have more grip on the air and they're not really stalling as much doing those quick movements as a higher pitch prop does so that's kind of an obvious one and another one that's not as clear is that I think this prop is slightly lighter than uh, this prop that I modified, the normal 6040. And so I weighed these props and this prop is around 4.1 to 4.2 grams. This is about 4.2 to 4.3 grams. And then this one is about 4.4 grams. So going from 4.4 grams to like 4.1 or 4.2 grams, that definitely makes sense why that'd be such a big difference. So another benefit of this modification that I didn't really anticipate is that it removes weight on the very tip of the blade, which is the most important part of the blade to have light in terms of having your motor spool up and down as easily as possible. So I think that really improved the control feel as well because I do not remember the normal 6040 having such good control feel. So what I recommend doing this modification, I would say definitely try it out because it lightens up your prop, makes it quieter. Um, so I don't really see any downsides except maybe you have to balance your props. And of course it takes time to do this modification, but unfortunately there is not any really highly engineered six inch props on the market right now. So, um, it is a viable option as far as props go. Now, is this prop better than the 6045? Because in a previous video, I crowned the 6045 the best 6-inch prop that I have tried. And I'd say it depends on what you're doing and what your personal preferences are. So if you're racing, I would say the 6045 is best because that higher pitch really gives you faster speed and it's still a very efficient prop. But if you're doing more acrobatics and stuff like that, you really have to make a pick because if you like higher speed acrobatics and don't care too much about control feel, 
then the 6045 is probably a better bet for you. But if you fly slower, like I don't fly too fast, uh, and I like to do really precision oriented things and tricks, then I'd say my personal preference is the 6040 prop. So you just have to try them both and see what you think. Also, you can try this modification on other props that aren't very optimized for vortex management or whatever. It's not just a modification that only you can do on this specific propeller. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of this modification and your results if you try it out. If you like this video, please like it and get subscribed if you want to see more content like this in the future. Thanks for watching.